Good evening folks, just a quick update on the phaser project here. Um, the SV has been cleared out of the way and now at this point uh, it's back to the, the phaser project which was the, you know, which was ahead of the SV officially. At this point it's kind of at the jigsaw uh, end of affairs. Um, as you can see I've got all the parts from the, 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 main, the main bike and the, the donor bike and picked through them again and just confirmed that I have everything, everything is accounted for and that the ones that I want are, are, are earmarked for the bike. And here we are, as you can see, a lot of what's here is controls, cables, um, cables and hoses and so on. And it's just a question of um, making up the bits because I, I need part A from the, the main bike, part B comes from the donor bike and it, it's actually a complete hodgepodge of different uh, parts from the two bikes. So right now, as you can see, it's, it's all there, it's all laid out. Um, I'm still deciding what I'm going to do, for example, with the likes of these uh, um, footrests and rear sets and what have you. Um, they're still very crusty. I think my game plan at this point is get everything on and just make sure that it's still going to fit and they're complete and functional. And then just, just pull them back off. I mean, they're, they're all peripheral to the bike, so just pull them back off and refinish them and put them back on. Um, rather than falling over them for any more time worrying about kind of having that anxiety about kind of uh, losing bits and pieces and you know you know it's all there but you know <laughs> anxiety still kicks in but look um here we are uh, look the the, the, the the calipers the blue spot calipers are there i got the special tool to uh to open those up and i have seals to put into those um there's actually um, no uh, massive cylinder rebuild kit in yet. Um, I totally forgot to order that, so I'm going to get that and we'll just refresh all those things. Um, all I've done today is I stripped the bodywork back off. Um, I fitted that bracket, which is um, uh, newly blasted and painted. Um, both of the both of the brackets, I don't know what they're made of. I don't know why they suffer so much, but the two of these that I had from the two bikes were both um, completely just rusted to, to, to nothing so this was better of the two so it got blasted and painted and uh, put it out uh, on feels like a bit of a milestone and um, the only thing I got blasted was this little fan shroud here so there's um that's to go in and um, hopefully then at that stage we can start buttoning up the cooling system um it, it's all roughly laid out but just make sure all the clamps and everything are in place ahead of uh, filling the bike with coolant um so moving along there is more little bits and pieces there some tank drain hoses there's the unit there for the that that contains the the coils and the uh i think there's a it's a it's a lifter it's a, it's, it's a little electric lifter for the for the fuel um or some kind of pump i'm not sure if lifter is the right term actually um so the leads are there anyway and coils i've got to get get another uh rebuild kit for this uh, master cylinder um i have the the rebuild i have the the the, the seals there for this caliper it's the third caliper they just seem to go to bits uh, all three of them the other two are just absolutely nearly fully dissolved so i'm hoping that there's there's, got, there's hope for this um so carbs there's new uh carb rubbers there there's a little kit there and all i need from that little kit are the bowl rubbers and um i think i'm hoping to god that they are in okay uh condition now after they've kind of been stripped and cleaned um, I would hate to have fuel spilling out of four carburetors all over my lovely freshly painted engine, but look, we just have to, we just have to hope it goes well. Um, I'm probably going to get a new, the sprocket is actually barely worn, but I'm probably going to get a new uh, chain and sprocket set. Um, just keep assembling chain guards, chain guides, you know, some the last electric, so there's your uh, rag rack is there, your um, speedo sensor is there. Um, missing any brackets and bits and pieces um, as you can see so here's the body work the body work um, is I have the materials inside uh, inside in the house and um, I have all of the, the various sundry items all the papers all of the the primers and so on that I'm going to need um, uh, a friend of mine is after offering to come down and uh, look over my shoulder and make sure I don't uh, um, make a giant mess of the whole thing I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for a good result I've, I've done enough kind of um painting that i'm not too concerned about the technique i'm not worried about kind of runs and that type of thing i know that there's things that you can do about that so to me just to make sure i do the prep correctly and i don't get any reactions or i don't you know look after the environment correctly in terms of moisture or what have you um, but yeah that's basically it that's just a quick one today just to let you know that i haven't forgotten about you and that the bike is hopefully going to be done sooner rather than later. Uh, it is, apart from the painting, 
um, and the last two parts it's pretty much a jigsaw and um, I'm looking forward to kind of getting it done and having it off the bench thanks folks stay in touch thank you thank you very much